Hey guys, GSlam here, and today I'm going to be showing you a new application by me and Conap that's in it to win it apps. The application's name is Slide Explorer, and what it is, it's a root file browser. So you can see I can browse into directories such as my data folder. And uh, what's cool about the, the Slide Explorer is the fact that it's also a dual file browser. That means you can view two different directories at one time, and you'll see you can slide back and forth between the explorers. That's why it's called Slide Explorer. Um, the two explorers act completely independent of each other in that you can be in two different directories at the same time. However, the uh, multi-select is what actually ties the two explorers together. So you can be in two different directories, open multi-select in one, and single select will still be open in the other. You can multi-select again then in the second explorer, select a file in one explorer and select another one in another file. So you can note that I'm in two different uh, directories here. I'm in the SD card and uh, the system framework folder. Uh, if you select copy, you'll see the paste buttons pop up like that at the bottom. You can then go to another folder, such as the SD extension. I'll drop them at, and you can paste. You'll see that both files from both different directories are dropped in the uh, SD extension folder. Uh, Multi-select also works if you're just in one explorer rather than being in both. So you see that. You can then just use it in the One Explorer and delete the files. Delete will show you what files are going to be deleted before you delete them. And you'll see the progress bars pop up as the files are deleted and copied. Um, not only can you uh, copy and paste, move files and whatnot, you can zip files that are in different directories as well. So if I were to go to multi-select again and select the two files once again in multi-select, you can zip the files here and you'll see that a uh, pop-up pop-up asking you where do you want to go so you can stay where you're at or go and view the files in the left explorer right I'm gonna view them in my left explorer now so you see it moves it over to the left explorer and what's cool about the uh, zip the zip the zip viewer in our uh, in slide explorer is that if you open up a zip you can actually view the files from within the zip without actually extracting them so you can see this text file here you can view without actually extracting it from the zip file or you can long press to extract files from zip files that works with TARs, TAR gun zips, it'll uh, work with a RAR file, any type of archive you have you can view the files inside of without extracting. Um, another cool feature with Slide Explorer is that if you have a directory that you go to a lot, let's say my SD card download folder here, you can uh, create a desktop icon for each folder so you can long press a folder and hit add shortcut to home screen. What that then will do is create the icon on your, uh, on your desktop here so you can see the download folder now that there's just was created here. If you press that, it's going to open Slide Explorer up to that directory every time. So what we had done with building Slide Explorer is just aim to make it as um, quick and organized as possible. So if you have a directory you go to a lot, you can just make an icon for it. Um, another, another thing that we had added with this is a lot of times when I'd be speaking with someone, I would need to give them a path to a file. If you have a long path that you need, you don't have to type it anymore. You could just go to the uh, the folder. I'm going to go to the super user folder here, and you can actually just copy the uh, path of it. So if you long press, you can do copy path to clipboard, and then you can drop that wherever you need to. So I'll drop it in a uh, in a text file here. If you long press and paste, you can do that in a, a text message, GTalk, wherever you need to save the path to. Uh, what else we have here is the SQL viewer. So if you press a database, you can go into databases. It'll list out the different tables for you. If you go into a table, you'll see all the uh, different entries in here. And the database viewer actually scrolls all together. So if you see, I'm cutting the five off here at the top. The next row will be cut off too. So everything actually scrolls. You can see the gray bar where it pops up that all rows go together. And something else that uh, other file browsers don't give you is the option to update the value. So if you long press a value in a database, you can update the value to uh, something different. So I'm going to cut the video here and we'll go through the rest of the stuff in uh, the next section. Alright, so now that we're back, um, we're going to go back into Slide Explorer and I had to just do that just because screencast has been not working. If I go over, I think it is like five minutes or so, it cuts out and it doesn't let me finish the video. So we're going to go back now, we're going to do the settings. In settings you'll see things such as UI tweaks, which is just, we do this in all our apps such as Boot Manager and whatnot. It just gives you the options to change the entire app to make it how you want it to look. You can customize the entire thing, compress and extract folders. By default those are set to the SD card um, in it to win it apps folder. 
slide explorer and you'll see compress and extract that's where the uh, compress and extract folders are by default you can change those here to whatever directories you would like uh, backup edited text files was something that root explorer did um, did did by default and you couldn't turn it off that kind of bothered me uh, for instance if we were to make a new file here let's say we call it test text and if we open it up and we edit the file it'll make a back file of it which is what root explorer would do so testing back option now if I back out and they'll ask if I'm sure I want to make it you can see that I made the back file this is the blank file that we had before we made changes to if I were to make changes to this file again it would make another back of this and you can see this is the new file that I made that's something that had really bothered me and, so, and root explorer that I always had to delete the back file like that so like we said we aim to make this app as easy as possible to use and as quick as possible if you open up the test text file again now and you open it in the test de the text editor if you type in a um, type in something out type in something else again and you back out you'll see that the back file was not made this time so that's an option you can turn on and off right in the settings there uh, depending on what you want. Hide super user toast requires super user elite and that's just going to hide the toast that say slide explorer was granted super user permissions. Edit text dial exit text dialog dialog excuse me is just this dialog if you're at the root and you back out it'll ask you if you're sure you want to exit something else root explorer doesn't have that had bothered me as well because I'd accidentally back out of root explorer and it would just take me out of the app rather than asking if I was sure I want to take exit the app going back into settings you'll see that Explorer 1 and Explorer 2 have two completely different um, sets of settings you can see that I set the fast scroll here to if there's more than 10 entries in the list it'll show the fast scroll and then I don't have it on here in the second Explorer so if we back out and we go to the SD card you'll see that that thumb pops up and that just lets me scroll up and down the list very quickly whereas if I go to the other side you'll see just that blue bar is there there's no thumb for the fast scroll so that's off right now so that's something you can do in both of them home directory is just where the app's going to open up to you can set two different home directories for the left and right explorers uh, list sorting is just how you're going to list it there's a bu bunch of different options for how the list will be sorted and you can sort the list differently in both explorers detailed list and show hidden files I'm going to turn off in explorer 1 and explorer 2 I'll leave them on and you'll see now when I go back to the SD card that you can see the overscroll that I'm at the top of the list. Those hidden files are gone. And you can see the descriptions of the, uh, each item is gone as well. But flipping over here, you can see now at the overscroll again that those hidden files are there and the descriptions of every file is there as well. So you can turn those off and on for whatever you like. And you can do that that's separate for both explorers. They each have their own settings there. So I have to cut the video one more time and we'll go through the final stuff. This is just because um, Slide Explorer, or Screencast rather, keeps cutting my videos. Alright, so now that we're back, we're going to go through the menu real quick and the different options that are in the menu. So you'll see that you have the uh, search here. Our search is a little smarter than what Root Explorer it does. Uh, with search, it's actually going to search through the directory that you're currently in. So it would search through my SD card before searching the entire phone. With Root Explorer, they go and search the entire phone without just randomly looking all over the place for whatever file you're searching for and that causes the search to take a lot longer so the search is going to be much quicker using Slide Explorer than something with Root Explorer because it's going to look in the folder you're already in. Um, you also see items like refresh that's just going to refresh the list so if you've added files to your phone or whatever while you were already in Slide Explorer or something got deleted or whatever you can refresh the list. Uh, you'll see things such as uh, more in the more you'll see new folder to create new directories in the folders you're in new file bookmarks and home in bookmarks there's already the root and the SD card are in there by default and those can't be deleted uh, delete all bookmarks you'll see as well if you have a bunch and you want to just delete them all at once but to create a bookmark you'll just long press a folder hit add add bookmark and you'll see that it's then in the bookmarks section now so that'll just take you you can go back there real quick you'll see all this stuff in there or if I was in another directory, it's just easier browsing, basically. So, um, you just that's in other file browsers. It it it'll memorize also what Explorer you're, you're in and set it to that. So, like, if I'm in Explorer one or Explorer two, it'll know what Explorer to set the bookmark for. 
So I'm going to cut the video one more time and we'll finish up. Alright, so this is the last uh, section of the video and we're just going to go through now all the different options from long pressing. Uh, you'll see add bookmarks, just going to add files to the bookmarks here. Uh, you can long press to delete there and delete all. Uh, long pressing again, you'll see add short to home screen we've done, copy, copy path to clipboard we've done, delete, move, owner. Permissions is pretty cool in that not only do we give you the uh, Xboxes like in Root Explorer, you can select alternate and you'll see that you get the octal and textal. And you can, as you delete or pipe in there, you'll see that they actually write um, right in the other one as you go. Or you can use, again, the uh, standard Xbox things. Going back into here, you'll see things such as uh, properties, rename, set as home directory. You can uh, set directories using that as your home rather than typing them in the settings. Tar is going to give you two options, either tar or tar gun zip. Um, and then there's zip files. If you go to the zip files and long press that, you'll have options such as extract and then all the other ones. Uh, the open with uh, properties, that's going to give you like MD5 sums and whatnot. Um, rename, send, you can send files using Slide Explorer. Fix zip is just for if you have a zip file that you make on your uh, Android phone, a lot of times you won't be able to open it on your computer as well. If you hit fix zip file, that's going to fix the zip so that it will be able to be opened on not only your phone but also on your laptop or your desktop or whatever. Um, going back down, you'll see open with as well. That's just the different ways to open files. There's internal, general, and then you can use applications also installed on your phone to open up open files. This is going to be your defaults um, that the Android system has built in and internal. You can see it uses default here at the top on each uh, list. That's going to set uh, right to the da Slide Explorer database what files should be opened with what. So if you have a file and you want to change how it opens, you can set it as a default and Slide Explorer will know to use that whatever you use to open it rather than opening it with what it has as already. Um, Slide Explorer is going to be $2.99 in the Android market. There's going to be a Slide Explorer Lite version as well which is free. The Lite version just doesn't give you the root capabilities that uh, Slide Explorer Pro does. Um, that's about all guys. If you have any ideas that you think would make the application better or um, any problems with it, anything like that, feel free to contact us. I'll leave our information in the description of the video. We always get back to you guys within like a day or two, and we're always happy to hear your feedback and whatnot. So check out Slide Explorer Pro and Slide Explorer Lite in the market, and thank you guys for the support.